Okay, this is William Seward. He might be the best politician never to become president of the United States, and these days I think he's a little forgotten about, so let's shed some light on him. Seward is born down in Florida on May 16th, 1801, though he's going to gain his prominence while up in New York. He lands in New York while attending Union College at the ripe old age of 15. Seward is very intelligent. After graduating, he's going to pass the bar exam and begin his career as a lawyer. He's going to join a law practice with a handful of successful lawyers. He will also marry one of their daughters, Francis. You can still read a lot of letters between him and Francis. They have a very similar relationship to like a John and Abigail Adams where lots of letters between them are available. Seward is also going to be a, again, famous politician during the Civil War era. He's going to serve a couple terms uh, as governor of New York, two terms, I believe. While governor, by the way, he's actually a huge advocate for education, specifically that with immigrants. People don't like that that much. Uh, Seward is a big fan, thinks everybody is free and equal, uh, receives a lot of backlash for that. He's going to receive very similar backlash to his anti-slavery thoughts. In fact, Seward is actually a good, we'll say friends with Harriet Tubman. He even uh, offers Harriet Tubman some land that I believe she buys from him. Look into that for me. Part of the reason he doesn't become president is because he has such a radical stance on the anti-slavery. People thought that some of the border states might actually join the Confederacy if he was the president due to his hard stance. Another political blunder he has during this time period is he's going to be touring around in Europe. At this point, Lincoln is giving a lot of speeches, gaining national recognition. Seward, the night that the presidency uh, or the presidential election is happening, is in Auburn with family and a bunch of friends expecting to win, uh, though Abe Lincoln will upset him. Seward will join Lincoln's cabinet. He uh, does a very good job as an advisor to Lincoln. Him and Lincoln become very close. Mary Todd, by the way, does not like William Seward. Seward is, by the way, known for his speeches. He's known to go on the Senate floor and talk for just hours, bringing people to tears. You can find a lot of those or a lot of stories where he does that. Seward also, during the night of Lincoln's assassination, was somebody that was attempted to be killed himself. He's actually in bed and with a carriage accident when um, he gets stabbed in the neck a handful of times, does survive that. After the Civil War, he's going to be responsible for the purchase of Alaska, which people also do not like at the time period. They call it Seward's Folly. Nonetheless, Seward does have a long and successful political career. Look into him because there's so much more to his life than you can discuss in three minutes. But I highly recommend it. Maybe one of our best politicians to never become the president. Hopefully you learned at least a little bit on our guy William Seward here. Per always, hopefully you did. Love you all.